Hey what's up guys, now we are like getting those slick looking edits but no one wants to go through the hassle of Adobe Photoshop or Lightroom. So here are a few apps that you can use to edit on the go, let's get into it. Hitting it off is Photo Director. Now it doesn't have crazy bells and whistles but it does come with the basic and professional tools. I mean you can crop, rotate and flip the image, transform by changing the perspective, adjust the shadows, highlights and saturation. You can change the sharpness, white balance or even clone parts of the image. There are many effects to choose from whether it's bleached, neon, artistic, retro or even black and white. There is also tons of overlays you can add such as light leaks, grunge, scratches, lens flare, stickers and frames. One cool extra feature is called scene where you can set your pick on another such as news channel, wanted poster, billboards and many others that you can download. Moving on we have Grambox, also known as Gbox, which is specifically designed to edit photos for Instagram. You can create a 9 grid image that is 9 different posts create a whole image on your profile. There is also a color picker to find out the color names and hex codes from any photos. You can also type in text to get it in reverse or upside down. And you can also download profile pics of any user in high quality even if it's a private account. There is also many glitch effects you can add to your photo and some look pretty sick. You can also create a long swipeable post where your photo looks like a long panorama without being cropped. I mean Gbox is like the one stop for editing photos to post on Instagram. Next up is Polar, which according to me is the most advanced photo editing app that you can get on Android. It has a clean UI with all the tools at the bottom and I'll be skipping the basics because there are many other features to cover. First you get the RGB curve with the master and individual red, blue and green curves. There are many effects available such as pixelate, diffuse, a full customizable glitch effect where you can set the strength, color, rotation, radius and blur and also add grain. There's a face tool that also identifies all the faces in the image and lets you individually edit the skin, face shape, eyes, nose and mouth. The sheer number of filters is that high that you won't know where to start, whether it's 90s art film, 80s negative film, modern, classic, vintage, adventure, atmosphere or even unsplash. These are just the free pre-installed ones cause there are more that you can unlock by purchasing the full app. Under lighting you can mess with the exposure, highlights, contrasts, shadows and all that good stuff. Whereas the color tab lets you change the temperature, tint, vibrance and saturation. The app allows toning that is custom color and intensity of shadows and highlights. The app has so many other features that will take too much time to cover such as LUTs, masks and overlays. After that is an app especially for the ladies who like to take their selfie game to the next level. It's an app called Airbrush and it basically lets you give your face a full makeover. There's a smoothening tool to get rid of wrinkles or bad skin without making the face look too soft. You can sculpt your face that is change the shape of your face, increase the size of your eyes, the look of your nose and lips. You can also get rid of acne or even whiten your teeth but just make sure you only whiten your teeth and don't go overboard like me. There are other tools such as relighting the image by adding a face light and change intensity. You can also blur the background, add bokeh and a vignette. There is a tab for makeup and you can select all the kinds of makeup you want. Like I said it's an app that really comes in handy for them ladies cause half of the features over here even I don't understand. And finally there are many filters that you can choose from. Last is an app you're probably familiar with. It's called Portra and it's barely packed with features but instead a bunch of really cool filters. Swiping left to right changes between the filters and swiping up and down shifts between a few different frames. You can change the size of the filter on the image and also its intensity, like find a nice blend between the photo and the filter. There are a bunch of nice filters that have this artistic look with some being painted while others having a pencil sketch effect and all of them are in high quality. So it's one of those apps that doesn't do everything but what it does, it does it really really good.